Hey everybody, welcome to my vlog channel. Let me... It's cutting off my head. Alright, that's a little bit better, just as long as I slouch a little bit. So, this video has already been filmed, but when I was watching back, I realized that a lot of it didn't really make any sense, starting with my intro story. So, this is my vlog channel that is my life version of my beauty channel. Um, I don't have the, like, great funds to fund my beauty channel the way that I would like to. Um, believe it or not, I'm making no money off of YouTube. Um, YouTube has officially changed their, like, partnership things where this channel, this vlog channel, will not be able to make money until it gets 10,000 views. My beauty channel, on the other hand, because it was started and was... But, but, like I became a partner before they changed all of that I'm still eligible to make money with my beauty channel already even though I don't have 10,000 views I think I have like 1,200 um, but um, yeah so I don't have enough views on my beauty channel to technically make money but because I was a partner and everything's monetized before they changed their rules I guess um, I can still make money from my beauty channel. This channel, however, I will make nothing. But since I don't have the funds to run my beauty channel as I would like to, um, I have more ideas for like vlogging than and like lifestyle videos, I guess, than I do beauty videos. So this channel will be like animals um, vlogging. I guess working out um, just my everyday life um, I'll probably do like weekly vlogs once I can find my vlogging camera um, I actually used to have a vlog channel called Laura's life and if you actually look it up you can find the channel and watch the videos but I can't get back into that account I guess and I don't know why so I have to start over completely and connect it with my beauty channel but you know so um, the computer that I have for editing is this one. This is a Toshiba computer, and I actually just had to completely wipe the hard drive because it was extremely slow. I couldn't do anything on it, so um, I wiped everything, music, pictures. Um, I had my Sims game on here, which I think was part of the problem. But yeah, so the only thing I'm going to be able to use this for so that it is not slow is YouTube and editing. And I was able to find a free editing download online and I'm hoping that it works. I'm not sure because I haven't had a video to put on here to edit yet because I can't, I don't have a camera. Um, I have my phone which is what I'm filming on right now but I can't like send the video from my phone to my computer. The files are always too big but... I have a like little camcorder, but I it won't work. I plug it in with a charger and it doesn't turn on, so I think it's just crap. But anyway, it's kind of a life update. Um, that is where my channel is at this moment. Um, life update. I am living with my husband at my parents' house. Um, me and him had both gotten laid off from our jobs about a year ago now within a week of each other so we couldn't afford to live on our own so we moved in here we're both at really good jobs my husband's in school for welding and yeah so that's where we are life wise um this video is kind of like a life update and haul video because I actually purchased some hedgehog supplies now backstory with that I had a hedgehog on my vlog channel my original vlog channel his name was Yoda um, hence was, um, he actually passed away probably a month ago now. Um, I do have a hedgehog tattoo. I got this in November of last year, which was 2016. And, um, I don't, I really don't know what happened to him. I think it was wobbly hedgehog syndrome, which is basically like a neurological paralysis that they go through with just the way that they are bred. Um, so... I think that's what happened with him. Um, what I bought was mainly like temperature supplies because if you do research on hedgehogs, you find that they have to be kept at a certain temperature between like maybe 73 and like 80 degrees. 
Now, when I originally purchased Yoda, we were living in a small apartment, like really small, like 400 square feet small. And um, we kept that apartment at about 75 degrees. So it was a good temperature for him. Um, we lived there for about eight months, moved out, moved into a new apartment, and we actually had a roommate at the time. So we left that apartment around 72, between 70 and 72. Now, um, if I had noticed that he was not reacting very well to that, I would have bought all this sooner. But he was totally fine. We lived there for a year and it, nothing happened. So a year after we moved in there, we lived there for a year, we move in here, and he was kept like right outside the door, right around the corner. And um, we've lived here for almost a year now and he was totally fine. I go to clean out his cage, it was like Saturday or Sunday. And, um, I was giving him a bath and I noticed he was walking a little bit weird. His legs were a little bit funny. I was kind of concerned, but after I gave him a bath, he was a little bit more mobile. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just all in my head. So I clipped his little nails and then, um, I actually went the very next day and I bought this thing right here, which you'll see later in the video. And about two days later, I went to, like, I went to his cage on Monday to pull him out and he was just like laying there kind of like sprawled out like splatted and he was like breathing breathing normally I always check on him to make sure he's breathing because he scares me sometimes and the very next day I went to play with him and he wasn't breathing so and he was in the same position that he was um, the previous day so um, I don't like talking about it because it makes me very emotional um, we are planning on going to a animal expo on this coming Sunday, which is the 21st, and possibly getting a hedgehog there. So I want to show you all this stuff before I set it up on the cage. And yeah, so um, into the video. So this is what I originally purchased. Um, this is a... You and Me Heavy Duty Construction Run and Play Space. This is a medium size. It's not in here. I actually took it out and let him roam around in it like the day before he passed away. But this is what it looks like. Um, it's the medium size. I got it from Petco. Why are you making such weird noises? Um, I got it from Petco. I looked up the prices. I paid... $39.99 in store. Um, if you get it online, it's $33.69, but you have to pay $5.99 in, tax, in um, shipping and $3.27 in taxes. So it comes out to be pretty much the same. Let me take care of this dude. Okay, I just had to let my cat out because he was interrupting me. So um, the other things that I purchased, I actually purchased... Let me take the shipping label off. I don't need y'all knowing where I live. Um, I purchased these on Amazon. This video is not sponsored. Purchased everything with my own money. I will link everything down below in case you're interested. None of the links will be affiliated with anything. Um, I will tell you the prices as I go. I think. Okay, I think that's good. I'll just cover up this little part with my hand. But. It came in two boxes. I put everything in this one box. I ordered three things in one order. Um, the fourth thing in another order, but I guess they connected the two orders and just put it all in the same, not in the same box, but like one thing from my three part order was with my single order. So um, the two day shipping was free because it was prime. So let's just get into this. So the first thing, is this this is a zoo med professional series dimmable clamp lamp eight and a half inch with dimmer switch um great for reducing light heat output on all types of incandescent lamps blah blah, blah. um rated up to 150 watts it has an aluminum dome black and white color heavy duty steel clamp and it looks like this on the other side so just open this up technically all this stuff is for reptiles but I don't have any reptiles so um yeah so it has important instructions and it comes with the little clamp which 
looks like this. And then this piece, which I assume goes around here, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to read it. I'd have to read the instructions. And this is what the lamp looks like. Ooh, I could use this for, like, assisted lighting in my videos. Um, but, yeah, that's what the lamp looks like. It has this little, like, rotating switch thingy right here. So, y'all. Alright, so this was $22.09. Oh, excuse me. So about 22 bucks. Next, I have a... I'll do this. A temperature controller by Zilla. This is a 500 watt temperature controller. Um, it... Let's see if I can demonstrate. So it looks like this don't oh this suction cup it comes with a suction cup apparently and this is what it looks like right here you plug in the lamp down here and you're able to control the temperature so like if you want it 74 degrees in the cage you just turn this dial to 74 degrees and this tells you no this monitors the temperature in the cage so that this thing knows how hot it is so like if you have it at 74 and this is in the cage and it gets to 75 it will turn off the heating lamp or if it if you have it set at 74 and you and it goes down to 73 it'll turn it on so that's what this does so you don't have to like constantly monitor the um temperature yourself so you don't really have to worry about that and that kind of goes in combination with this this is a Zoomed digital thermometer and it comes with the battery and it looks like this and then it also has this little probe that you stick in the like you would stick it right next to this down in the cage so that you know what the temperature is in the cage in case this thing for some reason stops working. So this goes in combination with that. Um, the thermometer is $6.99 and the temperature controller is $20.21. So it's a little bit expensive, but um, it it saves you the like hassle of trying to constantly make sure that your cage isn't overheating or anything like that. So yeah. This is another reason I really wish I could edit my videos because there's a lot of like awkward silences and dragged out things that I wish I could edit out and I have to like pause the filming which I don't mind doing it's just really annoying and as of right now having a phone that only has like a certain amount of filming capacity I have to pause it every once in a while so it's not filming just nonsense so it kind of helps so the next thing are the heating bulbs that I purchased um they have these in a single pack. I don't exactly remember how much that is. I tried to look it up, but the only thing I could find was the price that I paid. Um, you can buy a single bulb or two bulbs. I bought two because it was cheaper that way. I think one was $11.99 or $10.99. I just remember $11. Um, two was $18.99. So you saved about four bucks and free shipping because Amazon Prime, two day shipping. So this is the Reptile Structure Heat Emitter High Thermal Efficiency Natural Infrared Emission Bulb, I guess. This is a 150 watt, 100 to 120 volt bulb. And it comes in a box like this. And it came packaged in like foam wrapping inside of this, inside of the box. So they're very well protected. So you open this up and this is what the bulb looks like um when you get heat emitter bulbs or like thermal anything you want to for, for nocturnal animals especially which is what a hedgehog is you want to get something that doesn't put off light because if you do get something that, put, that puts off light you have to turn it off at night and then their cage might get too um i guess cold and then it just yeah so you want to get something that does not emit light, it just emits heat. So 
obviously the bulb goes in the lamp. The lamp clamps onto the cage, plugs into the um, temperature controller, and then the temperature controller plugs into the wall. So it's like a little system. And I'll do a like cage setup, cage tour, cage setup tour um, when I have the cage set up so that you guys can see how I set it up. Um, it's only going to be different in the fact that I have all this heating stuff. Everything else is going to be from the Hedgehog before. So, yeah. So, that's the end of my little Hedgehog haul. Hedgehog supply haul. Hedgehog haul of supplies. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, so that's, like, a life update there. Um, I don't know if anyone is going to see this that was subscribed to my channel before because I didn't have that many subscribers. But, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for anybody that is possibly looking to get a hedgehog. I know the beginning was a little bit rambly, but hopefully you stuck around for the end. Um, I will talk to you guys next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.